Well, victims of violent crimes, their families, and their advocates gathered together today here in Arkansas and around the country as part of National Crime Victims Rights Week. Channel 7's Kayla Christian attended the Arkansas ceremony for us and joins us now live uh, with uh, how they spoke up for the rights of victims today. Kayla. That's right. The ceremony served as a way to show victims, families, and survivors that they do have advocates as well as rights when it comes to experiencing violent crimes. You are empowered. You have a strength. You have a foundation. You have someone to come to. You have a refuge. One in attendance shared the pain of her stepson's murder years ago, saying it still affects her family today. We don't forget. We're remembering ourselves, the hurt, the loss. But you have to go forward. And we have to remind each other that there's life that has to continue on and live and cherish those memories from the loved one that has gone on before. She now uses her voice to continue her late husband's advocacy organization called Says Stop the Violence, helping to create safer environments for over 60 years. Don't be a part of the problem be a part of the solution. Dozens at the ceremony raised their hands when asked if they've been affected by violence, including one victim who took his story and created an organization focused on helping young survivors and potentially preventing other youth from having violent experiences of their own. So it's very important to put the survivor first and also let them know that it's okay to heal. Everyone urging that since violence doesn't discriminate, that it's important for everyone to stand up for what is right. It takes everyone. It takes all of us to, to make this world better, a better place for survivors. Now, in addition to resources for help when it comes to victims and the survivors of victims who have passed, those in attendance were also offered tips on how to re-engage in society with the hopes that their light for life can be reignited. On your side, I'm Kayla Christian. Okay, Kayla, thanks so much for that. Crime Victims Rights Week does continue with a candlelight vigil at the Allsop Park Pavilion that is scheduled for Thursday night at 630.